And we are back. It is episode 28. Ooh. It is it is episode 28, May 30th. We're back on a Tuesday. Tuesday vibes, Cal. Brandon, let's have a good episode. Short week. Huh? Yep. So I got the pickle punch pickle punch. That's what I called you right there. Pick, the pickle, the pickle jar here. A quarter of the pickle jar. Pickle. And patch. let me just say you guys are acting like pickle spoiled patch. little brats in here. So sure, it might be a little hot in our studio right now. It. I've been wanting to go live for like five straight weeks. Don't, don't, don't make this my fault. <laughs> it's kind of your fault. I would have went live today. We'll go live. Let's go live. No, it's too late. I'm here to record. <laughs> um, so, guys, just to be on the lookout, we will be going live where you <laughs> every week. Eventually, we're going to we go live you next on week. Riverside, and you could join the studio, ask us questions. We'll bring you in as long as you have a camera and you could talk um, into the mic, whatever. We're going to bring you in so you guys could ask us questions. Uh, we think that'd be a great way, great thing to add to our podcast. If you're interested in going live, DM Corey. No, 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 no. You don't need to DM me. Just go in the <laughs> lobby because you have to like in, request to be in it. Oh, okay. Uh, so we are going to start doing that where we end the show with a bunch of questions, Q and a, I think that'd be something that'd be cool. Mm-hmm. Eventually we'll do this, but it's too hot up here. We need to go. You guys are so fucking annoying sometimes. Both of you. I'm surviving. We're paying you top dollar as a high schooler to, to click two buttons. So I don't want to hear it. You work out every day and you're, you're, you're afraid of a little heat. Yeah. You do need a little sauna. Yeah, like that. yeah, it's good I mean, for the body. I need it too, but... Oh, yeah. that, I tell you what, sweat's coming out of his body. I have alcohol still coming out of mine from the weekend. Cal, how was Memorial Day weekend? Support the troops, by the way, for all yeah. the fallen soldiers. We are a... Uh, you guys already know we are pro-police. Uh, we back the blue. We are a big advocate for the military. Um, services. The services, all, all the for, services. for everybody. Yep. Um, so we have a lot to talk about today. Um, we kept the juice going, a lot of news. Um, we have a couple teacher stuff going on. And by the way, guys, if you have any news, you guys want us to talk about anything that's juicy, just DM us. I will DM you back. We need a little evidence, a little bit here and there, Mm -hmm. a little, a little news article. But if you have some, uh, factual stuff that you think that would be great for the show, we will absolutely talk about it. Factual stuff. Cause Kyle, if we're going to be the news, what do we got to do? Get the news. And what do we got to do with it? Produce it. Report it. Report, Report the, news. the news. That's it. That's yeah, true. Kyle, you're a reporter. You should put that in your LinkedIn profile. I'll write that down. Wisconsin notes. News pr- l- reporter. reporter. Report. So if Channel 3 News came up to you and was like, hey, you do a great job. You're with that stinker, Corey. Um, what's it going to take to get you away? Why, why aren't you saying no right away? Why are you thinking? All of the riches in Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> you're so stupid. Okay. Um, so yeah, we have a lot to talk about a couple teacher stuff, broad fest rookies bars, closing, um, the matching shirt trend. Do you know what that is? Oh yeah. You showed, you sent me that. And then the husband calling competition that Kyle has added to this list. Um, our TikTok idea is we're doing childhood board games. That's lit. And then we're doing the top five ice cream treats for the summer. Um, as you know, me and Kyle are both chubby little boys. So here we are. Um, Red light, green light to end it, and that's going to be the show for the day. So we're going to hop right into our uh, really... Wait, oh, you wanted to do a new intro, didn't you? I did. What intro did you want to do? Stranglehold. What's Stranglehold? I'm, I'm going to listen to it right now. Agent. Just it'd be just the first part of it, not whenever he starts singing. Just the first part, right here. Just the first part. Ted Nugent. Yep, Stranglehold. Shit. Are you connected? I am. How are we doing, Core? I'm not doing good. Oh, it's playing on my computer. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This iPhone. Yeah. But it'd be short. It wouldn't be very long. I mean, it's long enough, I think. I listened to this four times in the car on the way home today. <laughs> And I'm like, this is it, boys. I found it. <laughs> is it playing here? No, it's just playing on here. Yeah, that's going to be it for next week. But we're going to get right in um, to the show. Appreciate all you guys. Here we go. All right. 
and we are back. Let's roll, guys. Let's let's have a good episode. Brenny? All right. Um, first thing on the list, we have a bunch of news. I think we have, like, two, I have two. I don't have a third one. Kyle's got four. So, I don't want to say you're really stepping it up here uh, in these past couple episodes, but congratulations, Kyle. Let's Mine aren't as juicy. Mine are just... Like, no, yeah, they're, I mean, yeah. The bottom one, I don't know where it's at. I tried to figure out where it was, but I. this is the biggest one I've ever seen. Okay. Sorry. The third one. Okay. The bottom one is in Iowa somewhere. I don't know when they did it, but mm-hmm. I've seen it in about fucking yep. blood. How about you, how about, I'll just get rolling here. All right. First one of the week. Rookie's Bar in Mazomany, Wisconsin, to close at the end of the month. This bar... Is fucking awesome if you've ever been there. Yeah, it's got the bit, the like the actual official wiffle ball field in the back. Yeah, and it's like all sports. Why is it closing? Games. I don't know. I, they had I went and ate there once. Is it I, for sale? I remember. I have. Shot of Wisco Pod. <laughs> or could you imagine that the back of it? We could host like tournaments. <laughs> oh, oh, absolutely. <laughs> I'm I'm going to look right now. Uh but yeah, keep they talking are about closing it. Closing at the end of the month. I ate there. Oh shit! It probably was six years ago. And their food was amazing. Um, I don't one? know. I never played baseball or wiffle ball. I've always drove past, stopped, had a burger, whatever. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's closing. I see that. Um, and apparently, the staff is recollecting on. I think they've been open for twenty five. Hell of a run. Hell of a yeah. run they've had. Um, it does look like they are for sale. Bingo. Oh, I'm looking at the service. pictures, Kyle. Dude, if they left all the sports mobile in there, that there's no way that they are. But yeah, yeah. I wonder why they're closing. Oh, look at that bar. Oh. That I mean, they have to put that in there later, right? That's kind of like the key to the ballpark thing that they do. That would be a lifelong dream. Um, maybe we got to set up like a GoFundMe, and people could like pay us. Then we can go buy it. Keep call it rookies. We do our podcast out of the back. Rookies junior. <laughs> <laughs> when you say junior, it means, immediately makes me think of Winnie Hut Jr. Jun- I don't know why. Mm. Winnie Hut Jr. Winnie Hut Jr. Okay. Um, yeah, rookies, a hell of a run. It's like one of the main things when you go past there, Black Earth, that area. Um, you know, it's like, damn. I just never, we never stopped. I was always young. Yeah, and when are they stopping at the end of the month? We should go. We should go for a visit. A little memorial tour. Let's do it. No, let's before they close. Let's go. Yeah, and I'll video it. Well, one time I went in there it was nuts. Like yeah, I don't. I'm assuming that they took a lot of it down. No, I'd love to go video it. Yeah, and then get well, drunk and say, "Let me talk to my financial guys. I'll be back." There. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Rookies. Um, on to the next one. Yeah, it's a black earth. What cow? What do you think would be the coolest thing? Like getting drunk and slinging some dingers. Yeah, mm-hmm. easily. I mean, wiffle ball bats fun. Wiffle ball's it is fun. So much fun. It's so much fun. Okay, um, do you ever have it on TikTok where like a couple like you see a live pop up and it's at, it's like wiffle ball? They're playing yes. live. Yeah, happens yes. all the time. I, it's always on my TikTok. Um, all right, I'm we're gonna hop on the next one. Kyle's are gonna be really really uh, mellow news. Um, mine are gonna be juice. They're juice because I'm I'm. The one that's in charge of our shot of Wisco pod. We're getting DM'd left and right. People saying there's a bunch of bad, bad teachers everywhere. Bad mama jammas. Um, Elkhorn, Wisconsin. Uh, teacher on leave after, uh, sh- whoa, after sharing a post on Facebook comparing masks that we wear like during COVID face mask to KKK hoods. Uh, not the best analogy on her end. She, the post basically said, is it strange that, that they can breathe in this and it's a KKK mask, but not in this. And it's just a normal mask that, you know, doctor, medical mask, whatever you want to wear. Uh, so not good. Yeah. That's you can't be posting uh, that. No. Um, KKK is nothing to be joking about. No. Nowadays. No, you can't even be bringing that up. That's no. stupid. So Elkhorn teacher, uh, and apparently she was loved by everybody, like a really great teacher. And then she like completely shocked everyone by posting this. Um, she posted it. She she like reshared it with like some like her thoughts, like hmm, like interesting. Uh huh. Yeah. So you you, you know you, 
in any profession, you cannot be comparing anything to the KKK. No. Nope. Um, you got to be better. Yeah, the Ku Klux Klan, they're all pieces of shit. Can't be bringing that stuff up. Uh, so, yeah, Elkhorn teacher on leave. So we'll, we'll, we'll definitely stay in touch, see what happens there. But that's it. Um, next one. Broadfest was in Madison this weekend. I have, have you ever been to it? I had some people at work go to it. They said it was awesome. Never been. Okay, so a f- couple news facts if you want to know about Broadfest. I believe Broadfest was started. It's a full nonprofit charity um, that they're raising money. I'm not sure exactly what for, but I'm pretty sure like Johnsonville Brats like bought it out or like they're like their biggest, like the biggest, they got a hold of it. And now they like they raise millions of dollars in this weekend. I would assume. Yeah, yeah. it's huge. It's huge. It's such a good idea too. Um, I've never been, to, even though it's in Madison, I've never been to it. Mm-hmm. Me either. I mean, and I love a good brat. Oh yeah, I had a brat this weekend. Uh, how many do you think you could put down if you're up there? At that Brats? Point? Yeah. With a bun? No. Just if, a brat. If if are you a bun guy? Yes. No, I'm not. If 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 you make it. If if I if I have the chance to sit there, like if I'm sitting down, you're gonna get trash. You want a brat, plain Jane. I mean, like if I'm at like the brew game, y'all got a bun. But if I'm at home, just a whole bunch of kraut, brat. I mean, I'll, don't get me wrong. I I I, I, I 100 respect the kraut game, but you need a bun. And then I'll slam. No, you, the brat is how many? If you had to eat them bunless, how many brats? How many links do you think you could eat? Eighteen. I'm right about there with you too. That's we Put should like a four hour. We city. should do the nine beers, nine innings, nine hot nine. dogs, nine innings. Yeah, next week. I don't. I don't care. We I should. Be, I was gonna say, should we watch a brew game and do that on TV? Y- yeah, we'd have to. No, we won't uh. put it there. That, I mean, I'm gonna get a kink in my neck from watching it. Well, let's put a TV somewhere else. Mad Hot's get a fan in here. <laughs> Sit here for nine, and I'll have the meat sweats. <laughs> but yeah, Bradfest is cool. I, I've always wanted to go. When are you? So they do an after a brat fest after party sale or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's called, and they sold out. I don't know how many brats they had, but they sold out in thirty minutes after they were done. That's cool. That's awesome. Um, Kudos to brat fest. Anything else on that? No. Said the case cost twenty five dollars and and it included forty brats. What a that's a A case forty brats forty brats for twenty five dollars. What the fuck? <laughs> there was also you could also buy sweet corn. Oh, God. it doesn't say how much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna imagine that there was the fucking picture. I'm assuming that that was full. Yeah, of them. I'm just gonna say for one thing, sweet corn is delightful. Oh, I can't wait to have some. Yep, Finsels. Um, all right. Uh, moving on to our next. We're just God, we're rocking through these. Mm-hmm. Um, if we're gonna hit thirty minutes, we might need a slow it. Yeah. What time are you at right now? 15. Oh, we're, we're cruising. All right. Well, we'll keep talking. Make a chit-chat. Um, Grafton, Wisconsin, a teacher. Uh-huh. This one's bad. Dave, David, I'm going to call him Dave. Dave Schrader, arrested for making terrorist threats. Um, so this guy's done a couple things. He found kids drawing swastikas in their notebooks. Uh, David Schrader is, in fact, Jewish. So not a good combo there. He no. said uh, he has a lot of guns and would go scorched earth on them. Um, he also said that he would send his daughter to their house with a baseball bat. So I did some de- did some digging on this David Schrader because he seems like quite the character. And um, in March, he recruited a kid to punch another kid. He called him his enforcer. I'm not sure what type of guy this Dave like Schrader is. Yeah. Um, well, don't worry. That's where Dave's headed. Uh, jail. Yeah. Y- yeah. You can't. You can't be threatening kids with guns. Um, that's that's uh, a no no. Yes. So you're going to jail for a while. Um, so David Schrader out of Grafton, Wisconsin. I was a teacher. Mm-hmm. Sons a bitch. Yeah. Um, See that a lot. There's a lot of pent up, pent up aggression. And don't get me wrong, kids are not good to be putting swastikas in in notebooks. I no. mean, there's a little wrong on both sides. But as a teacher, you can't be letting out this pent out aggression, uh-uh. um, especially since you know, two months ago you recruited a kid to punch another one and called him your enforcer. So it seems like a really bad string of months here for David Trader. That's kind of like the lady that was having 
fights in a room. Yeah, you know, I don't know what it is about teachers running uh, rings, r- r- ring. fight rings in in the school. It's no good. Kyle, go ahead and look at the camera. And say do better. Do better. Do better. All right, that's all I got. What do we do got it. next, Kyle? This matching shirt trend. What the hell we got? So, don't put a question mark on my spot that's open. <laughs> that what? Okay, for all of you guys that are wondering, we fill out our our sheets. So Kyle gets three. I get three. Um, <laughs> and I only came with two and they both came. So I couldn't find one that was really good. I'm not going to sit here and be like the Brewers won the game on oh, Wednesday, won seven to three. The Mallards did win. That's seven, actually good. Seven. Oh, you know what? No, I'm going to do, I'll do, I'll do that. I'm going to do it right now. Fuck you. Um, in big new news in Madison on, on Memorial day, right? The first game was yesterday, right? That's Memorial day. You just one sec. Keep talking. Uh, no, I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to stare at you. Get pressure's on. One second. One second. They played on May 29th. That would have been yesterday. Which would have been Memorial Day. Memorial Day. Uh, 19 hours ago. Oh, baseball's back in Madison. Over 6,000 fans. Can, I, can you let me do the news, please? And can you just tell me if it was on Memorial Day? Mallard's opening day. Doesn't tell me the date. It was yesterday. Okay. The Mad- that was stupid, the way we just did that. The Madison Mallards uh, open up yesterday, May 29th, over Mon- Memorial Day weekend, on Memorial Day, I believe. I think it's the 29th, isn't it? Let's get fried. Is that, am I, is that correct? Yeah? On Memorial Day. I, I, you know what? No, you're just kind of ruining my news for me. The Madison Mallards would want 7-2, 7-1? 7-0. 7-0, to shut out. And I did see a tweet from the Madison Mallards. If they do shut out everyone moving forward, they will, in fact, never lose again. So that's a pretty cool fact. Wow. Um, for the Madison Mallards, um, we are going to be in the duck blind on July 1st. They're having Wisconsin night. We're going to be there slaying and drinks, showing people how much fun it is to go to a Madison Mallards game. So that's my third news. So, Kyle, you could shove it up your ass, buddy. I'm looking to see if I can see how many home runs they had. How about you get on with your matching shirt trend news? Okay. Shirt trend that I see a lot of. This is an FYI for all dads because it happens to them. Mm-hmm. T will never get me in this. No? Mm-hmm. I can. I am one of one, Kyle. There's no way. There's no way that you get Who's gonna? Uh, Kyle, I don't even know what I'm wearing the day before. She don't choose nothing for me. She brings on a shirt. It says wear it. Two weeks you don't ago? think damn well I'm gonna be like Kyle's gonna be wearing this fucking thing at supper club at the supper you, club. You'd pick that out. Hmm? You'd pick that out. What? Like I would know that. Like, yes. Like Maggie buys me shirts and shit. She'd be like, oh, I th- like I thought you'd look good. No, in this. no, but t- no, but the thing that where 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 you're gonna lose me is when you say you have to wear it tonight Aww. out with your friends. But well, how would that? You don't but, tell me what so, to do. So one, you're not gonna tell me that I gotta wear this button up shirt. So that one. I, the ones that I see a lot of is like they're going out with their friends. Like four, four, four couples are going out with their friends. Yeah, and all the dads are wearing the same shirt. Yeah, all the guys or the dads, whatever they are. And mm-hmm. this one that I seen that blew my tits off was um, it was an eighth grade graduation, and all of the dads, forty of them, had them on, and uh, like they showed like videos of it in the gym. And that's it was just a that's staged. Outstanding. One hundred percent. You think so? Yeah. You're telling me 40 dads? The best part was 40 dads video decided to put that shirt if, on? If, yeah, there'd be one dad that'd be like, I ain't wearing this today. If he can, well, yeah, probably not. I, I want to wear my shirt. Maybe those 50 and only 40 of them had it on. I bet it's staged. But you did the watch TikTok views. on the TikToks, on the TikTok, you seen a lot of the people like walking in like, what the fuck is going on here? Mm-hmm. And they got this this thing on. Yeah, yeah. Um, Next one. Okay. This is something I've been meaning to talk about, but I keep fucking forgetting about it. Okay. In Iowa, they do a husband calling contest. Mm-hmm. So, you ever heard of a pig calling contest? Yes. You you, you know the sound you make? What, what what What's the sound you make whenever you go to the cow, when you go to the farm and you're trying to call the cattle in? Sabbath. That's what you guys say, yes. Like, whatever. And so, like, pigs... Like they do. A, we should talk about that sometime. The, the, they do a, like top cow noise, top noise making cows. Top, okay. What, what would you say when you walk up to a cow? Yeah, that's what Luke used to do. Come, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and you'd have a fucking bucket of yeah, grain. Yeah, I never understood it. Like my grandpa and my my dad, they'd Saba. always Saba. So I'm like, no. <laughs> fuck. Okay, so there's there's a pig calling contest where 
they'll be like, come on, pig, pig, come oh. on, pig, you know what I'm talking about? And instead of that, there's one now that's, that's called a husband calling contest and it's fucking atrocious. Um, where's it at here? Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Back this up just a hair. Cal, it's not turning sideways, buddy. I don't want to be late to the great Iowa State Fair. Hurry, hurry. Oh, Robert, eat. It's like, we're going really to get like later at this lady. I have won many times. <laughs> Hold on. No way she calls her husband like that. So you never know what you're going to get. Would you like to hear me call my husband? What am I supposed to call him? You low down Roger Daryl. I go for you low down Pinky. So you pretty much just yell at your husband in this thing. And uh, yeah, I had seen. You know, I was different, man. A while back, I yeah. was different. They do, they just do it, man. I mean, if I had to sit through that, all right, I, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's do it right now. Do it like you're talking to Maggie. Like you're, you got to call Maggie. What I actually sound like? Yeah, like I'll be in the basement, back. Like, Maggie, Maggie, <laughs> hey, <laughs> what the fuck is she doing up there? <laughs> And you go up there and she's like in the fucking bathroom with the air vent on. It's like, oh, I was fucking could have died downstairs. What's going on? What do you got? What's going on here? Do you, do you want to know um, what, what, what mine would be like? No. Why not? Yeah, I do. What? You, you came into that really soft like you're going to do something different. I already know what yours is because I could. <laughs> I, I just give it to me. <laughs> Am I like downstairs or like doing something? Yeah, just imagine that you're like, or like you're. Do you ever have it where like your windows are open and you're outside and you're like in the backyard? You'd be like, Tia! Like you. <laughs> yeah. You're throw me out of water. Like or something like that. All right. Hey, Tia! Hey! Tia! <laughs> Tia! This, 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 this freaking girl. This mm-hmm. freaking girl. And, and then this is where I go to. We call her right now. And then, and then I get the stop. And then you gotta get the god damn it. And then, like, you gotta get up. Right in the middle of what you're doing. Sabas! <laughs> that. Hey now! Hey now, girl! I, oh, shit. Hey, Tia. Quick question. If I'm like downstairs and I got to call you, like scream for you, what do I sound like? What do you mean? Like, like emulate like me being downstairs and I got to, I'm like calling for you. Um, for one, you're not usually calling for me. You're usually yelling at your video games. Hey, hey, come on. <laughs> Just scream. Just do it. Just do it. Come on. We're, we're live. Come on. <laughs> All right. Well, that could have been that could have been better. Okay. Well, love you. Bye. (laughs) That's what I expected. Yeah. Yeah. I probably could. I probably yell a couple things. Yeah. Yeah. Um, What? (laughs) (laughs) Oh shit! You could hear me the entire time. Um. Okay. Well. Just ignore me. Brandon, how would you how would you yell? For like your dad. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> that's like the, is anybody home? Or that's like whenever you get like dad, dad will be downstairs and he'll be like, Kyle. And you're like, what? what? <laughs> and he doesn't say anything. You're like, fuck. Like I got to get down there. <laughs> right. He's going to scream again here yeah, in about three yell. minutes. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, that's the show. Um, we will, we will be going live next week. <laughs> right. 
We're coming in hard. We're coming in hot next week. We're going to go live so we you, we could take some questions from you guys as we want to start bringing you guys onto the show um, to chat a little bit more. Um, like like we've told you before, whenever we don't have a, uh, a guest, it's going to be around 30 minutes. So I appreciate it. Appreciate everyone that watches us. You can find us on TikTok, Instagram. Ooh, Kyle's doing a little dance. Ooh, 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 ooh. Do, it. do that again. Dang. That guy's saucy. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. Well, that's the show. Um, like I said, we got some Tiki Talks coming out. Keep following us on um, TikTok. Keep following us on YouTube. Keep following us on Insta. I, we appreciate all you guys. Appreciate all the follows we've been getting, all the views. Um, and we'll talk to you guys later. See you guys later. See you next week. See you next week. <laughs>